And did you know, back in the 1960s, there were go-kart races? In fact, the go-karts were made in Singapore and can go up to 35 miles per hour. It seemed to be a popular event too, because in the footage of these races, you see people lining the streets to watch the go-karts whiz by. Hi, I'm Shabir and you're watching The Library Report, a series where we uncover unique stories and chat with the people who make our libraries and archives tick. Fancy a job where binge-watching is actually part of the job description? Sounds like a dream job, doesn't it? Stay tuned to find out more. Hi, I'm Edwin and I'm a Senior AV Preservation Specialist in the National Archives of Singapore. My role in the archives is to help preserve and maintain all our national assets that are on film and I'm here to answer all your questions. How do you become an AV Preservation Specialist? Well, I started working in the film industry 25 years ago. I helped to restore the Cathay Library here in Singapore. I then moved on to Hong Kong to help Shaw Brothers restore their epic 760 titles that they had in their library as well. I also worked as a colorist on some major films. I vividly remember working on this film called Echoes of the Rainbow. It was shot on a street called Wingley and it was gazetted to be torn down. But because the movie was shot there and won a Crystal Bear Award in Berlin, the Hong Kong authorities decided to preserve the street. What does preservation work involve? The National Archives of Singapore primarily does not do any restoration work. It does mostly preservation work. AV preservation work involves protection from decay, loss and damage of original films. And after evaluation, we do minor cleaning and fixing up any damage. And we put it on the film scanner and digitize them. And then the original film goes back into a cold environment storage. What are the steps in preserving film? When I get a film from the repository, I will do a manual check first to see how much mold and dirt is on the film. And I'll usually opt for the manual film cleaning first so that I can evaluate it even more when I'm cleaning the film. With that, I will use gloves and isopropyl alcohol and I'll use a winding table to play back the film so that I can physically hold the films and clean them as they go along. After I'm done with that, and if the film is not as dirty, I will then put it on a film scanner. But if it's still dirty, I will opt to use the ultrasonic film cleaner that we have here. In some cases where films are brittle, I will try not to put it through the ultrasonic film cleaner. And when we digitize, not only are we digitizing the picture, we are also digitizing the sprocket holes as well as the audio tracks. We are basically preserving this for history. What are some of the common types of damage in film? There are many kinds of damages in film, but the three most common ones are number one, film warp. This happens when films shrink. What happens is that when you put it on a film scanner, it flutters around while it's moving and you don't get a nice flat scan. Number two is film brittleness meaning the film is not being kept in good condition and it will disintegrate in your fingers. Number three is the tightly wound film core. When you try to unwind it, it slowly damages the film. So when we have to put it into a climatic chamber, sort of like a baking oven, and we leave it there for a couple of hours. After a while, we take it out and if it's dry enough, we then put it on a film scanner again. How do you prevent your films from deteriorating? Films can be preserved for a very, very long time if you kept in optimal conditions. Here at NAS, we store films at 13 to 15 degrees and at a relative humidity of about 37.5%. Optimally, if you can store your films at zero degrees, it's good, but it's also very, very expensive in tropical climates. The other thing is that when you wind your films, don't wind it up in a fast-forward motion. Then the films become too tight, and when stored too long, they will tend to stick together. So always play your films in real time so that there's air pockets in between the films. What is the importance of preserving film? Filmmakers use motion pictures to tell stories, record communities and share information. Film is able to capture the lives, work and dreams of people in the past. By preserving films, we can show visually what Singapore was like in the early days so that our future generations can appreciate our history. What kind of materials does the National Archives have? 
The National Archives has a large number of AV materials. Some of our earliest films date back to the 1930s. We have films in 8, 16 and 35 mm gauges, as well as documents, photographs and audiovisual recordings in many different formats. If you're curious to know about the audiovisual materials at the National Archives, check out the video with our AV archivist, Ray, at the end of this episode. What is the hardest challenge you face in your job? Well, the hardest challenge I face in my job here in the National Archives of Singapore is working with warp film. It's the worst thing ever. When warp film runs over rollers, it doesn't sit right. So sometimes I need somebody to help me so that I can physically hold down the edges of the film to try to keep them as steady as possible when I'm recording. And when the film winds up back to the film core, sometimes it curls up and comes off the reel and then you get a big mess of film on the floor. What motivates you in your work? I've always loved photography since I was young. I had my first camera when I was 17 years old and I haven't stopped carrying a camera ever since. I've always loved visuals and I love history as well. The work that we do here at the National Archives to preserve our memories as a nation is both interesting and meaningful. What traits does a film preservation specialist need to have? You need to have a delicate touch and you cannot be rough with film. You have to respect film because a person that doesn't care about film will not be gentle and handle film in the right way. Keep in mind it was a lot harder to shoot film back then. I won't say filming today is not difficult, but in those days it was tougher. Tell us some interesting things you've seen as part of your work. I've seen a lot of old footage of places such as Boat Key before all the skyscrapers were built. When you see crowds of bumboats along the river and old buildings. I've also seen the old Ellenborough Market and Tan Tok Seng Hospital back in the 1960s. There's also fascinating footage of sea sports back in the days where you see yacht racing, tub racing and something called greasy pole where people would attempt to walk to the end of a pole slathered with grease. And did you know, back in the 1960s, there were go-kart races? In fact, the go-karts were made in Singapore and can go up to 35 miles per hour. It seemed to be a popular event too, because in the footage of these races, you see people lining the streets to watch the go-karts whiz by. And that is why I find the National Archives captivating. You never know what you will find. How can we access the films in the National Archives? If you'd like to take a look into the past, you can access films and resources on our website. Who knows, you might even unearth a piece of your own history. That's all the questions we have for today. Thanks for watching this episode of The Library Report. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and leave a comment about other roles at NLB that you'd like to see next time.